Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here, and um, this is a picture I did for Grace Dream AMV. Uh, she sent me a bunch of Pokemon cards quite quite a while ago. It's taken me ages to get this picture done for her, um, and in return, she asked if she could have her two favourite Pokemon along with one of my favourite Pokemon in in a funny or amusing scene. Um, and of course, everyone knows that my favourite Pokemon is Rattata, so I put my cute little OC Rattata in there called Ratty. And they're playing a practical joke on him. Um, the Flaffy is distracting him while the Vulpix cunningly melts his poor little ice cream onto the ground. And this is actually a two-part picture because um, when I was when I was drawing it, I kind of I was really enjoying drawing it, and I thought I really want to do like a what happens next picture. So I did a I ended up doing two pictures, um, and the second one. The Rattata's all sad because his his little ice cream's been melted, so he's all sad and crying in in the second half of the picture. Um, but yeah, I, I put most of the effort into into the first picture, and I was using Prismacolor pencils again um, because I'm I really struggle to do like grass with with alcohol based markers. I'm not sure why, <laughs> I really don't know why, but I thought if I wanted this picture to kind of turn out looking looking decent, um, I ought to do it really in in Prisma colours because um, then it will look better. My computer keeps trying to automatically restart itself, it's really irritating. Restart later! I hate it when it does that, I just get these pop-ups constantly saying your computer is trying to restart! Um, anyway, sorry, that was off topic. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of had fun doing this. The funnest bit was actually inking the picture because I got to use like my different colour multi-liners. And it's really fun when I get to use get to use different colour multi-liners because usually I find inking pictures really, really boring. I get so bored of inking them. But when I'm using different coloured like multi-liners, I find it really fun. So that was quite fun doing doing that. Um, but yeah, it took it took quite a long time. I mean, this one to colour took two and a half hours, and then the second part, the second picture, uh, that took just two hours. Cause um, for the second one, I I didn't use just my Prisma colours. I also used chalk pastels in the second one to try and speed up doing the background. Um, but yeah, you'll see that you'll see that in a minute when we get there. Um, but yeah, I have to say that. I, I'm going to have to close down the kind of trade option that I've got going where people send me Pokemon cards and in return I do speed paint videos for them because I am so swamped. Um, I have like so many people send me send me Pokemon cards and, and want pictures done for them and stuff. Um, or just send send me other stuff as well instead of Pokemon cards and, and I had to do videos for people and I'm like so exhausted of doing pictures for, for other people now because I also promised when I did my contest earlier in the year as well that everyone who entered my contest would get a speed paint video of their favourite Pokemon and I still kind of feel like because I, I promised everyone that I would do that that I kind of need to... I need to keep doing those, um, but I only got like five done out of sixty something. So at some point, I kind of want to go back to doing those for people, but I'm really not looking forward to it. But I think next week I'm I'm probably going to take a break and try and work on on some of my other pictures that I've been putting off for ages. Because uh, back in about December, I really, really wanted to do all the main characters from a really great anime called uh, Madoka Magica. And I really love that series. And I drew and sketched out all the original, like all the main characters from, from that series. And I really, really wanted to do speed paint videos of all of them and get people to watch the series because it's a great series. And I was just like, I just haven't had a free minute in like the last five months. I just have not had a free minute to just work on anything for myself. So, so yeah, I'm I'm definitely uh definitely gonna hopefully take a break from doing pictures for other people and um and work on those soon. Um, so yeah, I've got another trade speed paint video on Thursday, which will be for. Uh, James Kane on YouTube. He sent me some Pokemon cards and asked me to do a picture of Zero from Vampire, Vampire Night. So that'll be the picture that's going up on Thursday, hopefully, if I manage to get it finished. 
Um, so yeah, I kind of like the way this this first half of the picture turned out for Greystream A and B. I thought it was. I just think it looks really cute. I actually really like the way the flaffy turned out with the pinks and everything. I think it blended quite well. And I was actually, I actually kind of like the way the grass turned out, surprisingly, because I was like so stressed out about doing the grass. I was worried that it was going to look awful because I really wasn't sure how to do how to do grass at all. <laughs> um, yeah, and they actually the pictures photographed so much better as well than I was expecting because usually when I photograph my color pencil work, it usually ends up. For some reason, my camera usually focuses on all the little white marks that are left on the paper. But with this picture, or these two pictures, um, it didn't do that, so they photographed quite well. So I was really pleased about that. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the second part of the two-part picture. Um, with little Ratata being all sad because his ice cream's melted. I tried to put like little tears in coming out of his eyes. Um, I kind of wish I'd like managed to make him cuter and sadder looking because when he's colored you can't really see that he looks kind of sad he looks kind of just like a purple blob um but yeah i i kind of i kind of like this kind of these pictures even though they took me so long to do i mean these pictures have been sitting around for like i think it was maybe two months now so i feel really awful that it's taken me so long to get these to get these done but but yeah, I do have like other pictures as well to do for people. I've got um, a Sailor Moon picture to do for uh, Featherheart 101. And I've got a picture of N from Pokemon to do for Manga Art Studios. But I'll probably, I probably have to admit that I'm going to have to take a break and, and maybe <laughs> do them in a few weeks time because I, I really, really want to do my, my, um, Madoka Magica pictures that have been laying around for so long I really want to get those done and I was thinking after that I might once like I've got all the the trades and everything done for people that I might do like um, I don't know if you guys follow Lamia Crescent's videos but she usually does like a series of pictures in one go um, she did all the characters from Sailor Moon and I kind of want to start doing that with like some of my favorite series like do all the main characters from like my favorite series um, and I was thinking of doing like all the Yu-Gi-Oh characters from like the original Yu-Gi-Oh um, and then maybe like some characters from Inuyasha as well and do like most of the main characters from that and kind of do like series of, of pictures because I quite like that. I mean I tried to do that once before with Inuyasha when I was when I was a kid and I've got like most of them all over my wall um, but I didn't get very far because there's so many characters in Inuyasha so I think it would take me like forever to do all the characters from Inuyasha but I'd also quite like to do the characters from a series called Pre-Tier. I bet like no one has probably heard of that series because it wasn't like it was a really short series but it was great um, so I might try and do that but people probably won't watch the videos because it's not a very well-known anime. I thought about doing all the characters from Vampire Night as well but I really struggle with drawing them so I don't know yet. I'll probably do do my Madoka Magica pictures first and then probably do some Yu-Gi-Oh ones because um, I really like Yu-Gi-Oh and they're quite simple and so this is where I was using in this picture. Back to the picture which we're actually working on right now. Um, yeah, this is where I was doing the, the chalk pastels in the background and then I went in with some coloured pencils and kind of added more grass to it to try and make it look more grass-like. So the grass in, in this second picture isn't as good as the grass in like the first picture, but um, but it definitely sped up an awful lot of time by just doing it in, in like chalk pastels. So anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed my like two-picture ratata Pokemon picture. I can't remember what I was going to say now. But anyway, um, see you all soon. Bye!